All right, Drew, let's talk about Billy Napier and the Florida Gators. Five and five on the field, tough game against LSU. We talked about it yesterday. We actually thought they played well enough to win that game. Jaden Daniels was just too much in that spot. Florida still has a top five ranked recruiting class. And Drew, you mentioned it. It's been tough to kind of hang on to some of these guys down the stretch. Jamonte Waller, one of those guys that was formerly committed. Uh, he commits to Auburn. We talked about him earlier in the show, Wardell Mack to Texas, another top 247 prospect as well. Drew, a couple of the guys here, and I just got news as we pre-record this earlier in the day, top 247 defensive lineman, Naj Johnson, Mary Flitmas, he is off to Georgia. So now that defensive line room that is one of the best in the country that we have praised earlier in the year, you got guys like Naj Johnson, he's off to Georgia, LJ McCray, Suitors like Auburn, Florida State still coming after him. And Amaris Williams just took an OV to Ohio State, right? So there is a lot going on right now. We also talked about DJ Lagway, what would happen if A&M ends up getting the right guy. Drew, Florida ends the season with Mizzou and Florida State. And if they go 0-2, I think it's fair to question, we don't know what's going to happen with Billy Napier. I think you and I both agree that he should get year three, but it's a very real possibility that Florida is not bowl eligible this year. And if that is not the case, I mean, you talk about a class ripe for the taking that I think a lot of people are circling right now, and they're going to wonder what's going on with Billy Napier over the next couple of weeks because Florida certainly lacks no shortage of talent in this 2024 recruiting class. Well, Coop, you've been on the college side. I mean, if you're in Billy Napier or one of his army of staff members situation, like, how are you handling this? What are you telling kids right now? Um, you know, what is the message that you're you're telling them on the – because I'm fascinated to hear what you would say. I, I think for me, Florida, they're going to have to probably pivot to some plan Bs. And I think knowing what Billy Napier has done, you want to talk about talent identification, right – they have hit on some guys. They've been in early on some guys. So for me, let's say Billy Napier, you know, Florida closes it out with two losses. They finish five and seven. Uh, I, I think some of these guys are going to defect and they're going to have to fill in. And, and the guys that they fill in with are going to have to be potential, you know, multi-year contributors in the SEC. And then what are they going to do in the transfer portal? Because they hit on Graham Mertz, but they also missed on some guys last cycle and they were not super active. So number one, you know, what, are, what are you telling guys if you're in that seat? Trust the process, right? That was a slogan at Alabama when I was there in 2014. Billy Napier was a receivers coach. And all Billy Napier has been about since he has been at Florida has been about trusting the process. And that needs to continue to be the message. Anything that happens from this point forward to Billy Napier outside of what happens on a football field – is out of his control. It's out of, outside of the control of every member of that staff, whether you're a coach, whether you're a member of the support staff. So same language equals force multiplier. I say that a lot. That means everybody's got to be speaking the same language and the message has to be strong and it's got to be a united front. And guys like DJ Lagway, they got to hear that, right? Whether we're five and seven or whether we win the next two or split the next two, we're still going forward with our plan. And Billy Napier, to his credit, he's had a plan. And he's pitched this. Now, the results over the last two years are uh, – they're fair to criticize, right? I think any Florida fan would. I think there's a lot of question marks in terms of what's to be desired on the field. Drew, in terms of off the field, what they've done in two years, I love, which almost makes me think, like, we got to see some results year three, but year three – is the year that you circle for Billy Napier, and we got to see what happens. It was the same thing with Mike Norvell that you and I used to talk about a couple years ago. What happens with Mike Norvell going into year three? He rewards that fan base there in Tallahassee, and guess what? I think he's like 21-3 and three since, right? So we'll see what happens with Florida Drew. I'll say this. Even if Billy Napier doesn't get fired, I think we're going to see a couple defections as well. Yeah, it, it's going to be I – mean, all right, who's the guy they got to hold on to? For me, it's DJ Lagway, but you can't can't pick DJ Lagway, right? We've seen Nas Johnson go, Wardell Mack go. Who Who's the one they got to stick with? I, I think it's Amarius Williams, the defensive lineman out of North Carolina. You know he's a favorite of ours. Well, I, they got to keep him in the fold. I'm going to go with McCray. I think they worked hard to, to get the inside slant on him. He's a five-star. He's a guy ranked inside the top ten, the biggest riser for us. You want to build this identity – on the defensive side of the line of scrimmage. And right now, you are super vulnerable, but you have some guys playing well on that side of the football, especially guys like Kelby Collins, right, that you're banking on. They've done a good job there. they got to keep these guys in the boat. The L.J. McCray one, Drew, if they lose that one, 
that's going to take a lot of wind out of their sails. So we'll see what happens with Florida. But DJ Lagway, I think that goes without saying. That's a guy that they're kind of hitching their wagon to for the foreseeable future. But on the defensive side, I think you could say the same thing about LJ McCray. So Florida right now leaking. they got to find a way to kind of patch it up, keep it together over the next couple of weeks. And we'll see what happens with a couple of big matchups for Billy Napier down the stretch. Oh, <laughs>